This is a trial that I'm um, very excited about. It's something that uh, Dustin Deming and I, uh, he's a medical oncologist and I'm a radiation oncologist, uh, came up with, which um, is for metastatic colorectal cancer patients. And it really is for patients who um, have a, a disease that's uh, in the liver but potentially resectable. So it's for patients who uh, potentially can get all of their disease resectable. So they can have other disease, so their primary tumor can be in, intact as well as liver metastatic disease, but it has to be uh, resectable at a one-time shot. And basically, uh, as you probably know, many of these patients, about a third of them, can be have a very good long-term outcomes if you can resect all their gross disease. But that also means that about two-thirds of these patients will recur at some point. And so there's been a lot of excitement over immunotherapy drugs recently, um, particularly in the rare subset of uh, microsatellite instable uh, colorectal cancer patients who have great responses to these. Unfortunately, the more common uh, uh, microsatellite stable that makes up about 95% of these patients do not tend to respond to these drugs as well. But there's some hope that the combination of radiation therapy to uh, colorectal cancer uh, METs can actually stimulate our immune response. So this is a phase one trial that uh, we are uh, now enrolling on currently, and uh, we'll include patients uh, with liver metastatic disease that we can treat at least one of their metastatic uh, lesions with stereotactic radiation, and uh, then subsequently follow that with pembrolizumab, uh, anti-PD-1 inhibitor uh, that Merck uh, uh, pharmaceutical company makes, and then follow that by uh, two weeks later by uh, surgical resection of all of their gross disease. And the real goal here is to try and provoke an immune response against their colon cancer uh, before it's resected. Uh, and then they would continue on that uh, anti-PD-1 immunotherapy drug uh, for out to a, a year's time.